Digital is a transformation sweeping through every industry. When we looked at four industries, we found that roughly $20 trillion was at stake. If you extrapolate it out to all of the other industries, it could be well worth over $100 trillion. That number should give actually policymaker and industry a sense of the tremendous opportunity of different sectors getting connected and online. Nine out of ten of our clients believe that you know, digital and all this change is going to be very disruptive, but only one in ten has a roadmap and understands what they need to do about it. There's no doubt that there will be winners and losers in this change. The question is, will there be more losers than there will be winners? How can big companies uh, stay ahead of disruption? Small companies can be fast and can be nimble. Big companies, they can deploy a lot of capital. Not all is lost for incumbents. They still do have many capabilities at play. And now is the time for them to use those and enhance the way in which they were currently offering products. We need to keep taking the productivity curve forward. And the way to do that is innovation. The automated haul trucks, they are safer and more productive. My biggest worry as chief innovation officer in my company is the ability of a huge company like ourselves to understand all the challenges that we are facing uh, with all these new technologies. It's the innovator's dilemma. How are companies going to cannibalize themselves and innovate to make sure they're relevant going forward? It's actually pretty difficult because what you're trying to do is to fundamentally change what you believe in. One of the hardest things to do for most companies is letting go of control. Make sure that you're aware of potential changes in consumption behavior. Carefully monitor what consumers on the fringes are doing. These fringe behaviors could potentially become mainstream. The key thing is to be able to fail fast, listen to the market and fine tune fast. It's about listening to how your process is working, how your technology is working, how your business model is working and going through a cycle, a continuous cycle of that. To be successful, companies need to think about ecosystems and the way they interact and partner with other companies. Interconnectivity also means connection between uh, different business models. The power industry is also a retail business, but it's also a communication business. The idea of outcomes becomes very important. And what outcomes can you satisfy for a customer? With Michelin, the tire company, providing an outcome of more efficient vehicle utilization rather than selling tires. A great example of uh, thinking about business models in a very different way is going from selling a patient monitor, which is a computer that sits at a patient's bedside, into selling monitoring as a service. You need to start thinking about how do you share resources, how do you rent resources, enable an ecosystem that can drive your business model.